Yeah. This is a Gimme Five show with Jay Walker and Tiffany. Yeah. You gon' have to give me five fingers on it right now. Wait until they see the strength and hear the wind. This black college live, I'ma need five on it. If they put overtime on it, lights out. Welcome in everybody to Gimme Five Black College Live from Woo! the Reservation here at Alcorn State University with Jay Walker. I'm Tiffany Green. We've got a terrific show on hand. Obviously, we're here for the football game, Prairie View AM and Alcorn State, but we'll preview that just a little later. Coming up, you'll see, of course, Gimme Five. Everyone is always looking forward to find out who the school of the week is, as well as talking to both coaches as well. We got a lot on store on store on tap for you today. So look, I'm all excited. You see that? Oh, you got I'm here at the home excited. of the Braves. It's yeah. the home of the Braves. And, yeah, know, yeah. But I've always said when I think about all Corn State and making the trip down here, this has become the toughest road trip in all of Black College football. Yeah. It's yeah. Doubt. Yeah. We're gonna play a team that yeah. is really good. They're very physical. It's not easy to get here and they love their brave football team. And then you got the history here with Spinks Castle Stadium and everybody else and all the legends on Alcorn. They got something special they're brewing down here in Lorman, Mississippi. The 2018 SWAC champions. And look, this week is utterly important for all teams because really it's an early season litmus test for just to see where your team stands at this point. Yeah, we know, you know, Obviously, in FCS, I'm not just going to say HBCU football, but in the FCS landscape, you got to play money games. You have to play non-conference. But now, that's all out the window. It's time for the season to begin. All the off-season conditioning, it's not for when you're playing Southern Miss. It's not for when you're playing McNeese State. It's for when you're playing Alcorn State versus Prairie View A&M. Who can get a leg up in the swag? The idea is there will be several games to watch this week. Among them, Jay, you know, what pops out to you, of course, uh, also in the state of Mississippi, and Bethune-Cookman making that road trip to Itabina to take on the Delta Devils. Yeah, I think when you look at that, I think the team that everybody wants to know about is Mississippi Valley State. They've been down for a very, very long time, but they should have beat Tennessee State. They should have won their game last week against Lamar, where they lost in overtime. So give Coach Dancy a lot of credit. I don't know what their season record is going to come out to be, but the Delta Devils are really doing something that we need to keep an eye on in the HBCU landscape. And I think for Terry Sims, this could be a trap game for Bethune-Cookman. Bethune-Cookman barely beat them a year ago at Bethune. This week they're playing in Itabina, not an easy place to win. And let's also keep our eye on another SWAC competitor trying to rise, if you will, in the University of Arkansas, Pine Bluff. You know, they've scored 52 points in the first couple of weeks. Tennessee State, as you mentioned, coming off that tough loss. They have some questions to answer on defense. Yeah, Pine Bluff has been that story, I think, right now. They gave Alabama A&M the opening loss. Can they handle the consistency that comes with being somebody where they're not going to take it for granted? They're going to see Tennessee State's best shot. I want to see if Pine Bluff can answer the call. Tennessee State's a solid football team coming off a loss, as you mentioned, in Jackson State. So Pine Bluff is going to show what type of metal they're made of. In terms of Grambling State, we know them as one of the blue bloods of black college football. Where do they stand going against the Hornets this weekend? Ooh, what a matchup there. I think Alabama State, for the past couple years, they can play with anybody. And that's a good thing and a bad thing. They can play with the lowest team down there. They can play with the best teams in the conference. Coach Don Hill Ely has a lot riding on this season. Uh, but everybody's forgetting about Grambling. Everybody's falling in love with Southern University. They're falling in love with the Alcorn. They're not talking about Grambling. Be careful because the moment you underestimate the G-men from Grambling State, we know they can make things happen. Well, we talk, we stay with the Hornets and we talk about Delaware State. Rod Milstead is doing a terrific job up that way. And Howard, your school coming in at 0-3, nope, can they get school. their first win? No, no, when you're 0-3, you're not my school. <laughs> you're, you're, you're <laughs> oh, you only stick with a winner, huh? When, when you're 0-3, you're just an academic Dang. institution that happens to play football. That's what we say when we're not any good. Uh, but they're going to turn around. Robin Prince needs to find a way to get the Bison to buy in. Rob Milstead has Delaware State 
being ultra competitive. They won three of their last four games to end the season, and this season they're off to a good start. They both need this game. I'm curious to see how it's going to play out. I think we talk about games of the weekend, and the matchup that everyone is salivating over is Southern versus Florida A&M, a rivalry renewed. They haven't played for the first time, well, they haven't played since 2012. This is the first time they'll do so. It's going to be a special one down there, and I think there are questions on both sides on who can win the game. I think for Southern University, it comes down to their quarterback. You're talking about Skelton. Skelton is a special type of talent. He's a dual-threat guy that can really make this offense click. When they inserted him into the offense, they became a much more dangerous team. When you talk about Florida A&M, Ryan Stanley. Stanley, Staley, he can really throw the ball. He's emerging as a senior, holding off a tough freshman quarterback behind him. But I think this game right here, I love it because it's MIAC versus SWAT. It's not the Celebration Bowl, but it's two of the premier teams in their conferences going to do battle. It's going to be a fantastic football game. You mentioned the Celebration Bowl, where we are currently. All Corn State found themselves in the Celebration Bowl last year in Atlanta. We'll hear more from Fred McNair, their head coach. But coming up next, we'll get a chance to talk with Eric Dooley of Prairie View a and Come back with us to the reservation. Stick and stay with Tiffany and Jay. They'll be right back after these messages. It's MEAC football season, and things are about to get wild. Could the Aggies bury the Bison? Or will the Bears make a run at the ratings board? Will the Rattlers strike before the Bulldogs bite? Will the Eagles sink their talents into the title or feel the Hornets sting? Could the Wildcats wrap their jaws around victory? Or will the Spartans win out in the hunt? It's the road to the 2019 Celebration Bowl. May the wildest team win. to Lorman, Mississippi. You know, every time I hear a band, it doesn't matter who it is, I like to sway back and forth, but that was compliments of the sounds of dynamite from Alcorn State University. I'm joined by the here with us now. And, and Coach, look, you got a great ball club, and uh, you're coming off a championship season. What uh, do you expect from today's game against Prairie View a and well, the biggest thing is, I think that uh, as a as a ball, as a football coach, you expect the uh, high expectations of the team and uh, execute, uh, come out and play hard, play fast, every down. You all have an awesome offense, an awesome defense, but this is going to be a, a nice little grudge match down in the trenches because Prairie View also brings in a, a really tough uh, offense as well. So, where do you think the battle will be won today? It always won in the trenches. I think Coach Dooley is bringing in a good ball club in our Prairie View, and I think that it will be won in the trenches. Um, you know, how well can our offense protect the quarterback? How well the offense can pick their, protect their quarterback? Uh, defense the same way. Um, we just got to play fast, and whoever swarms to the ball the fastest. And uh, going to come down to whoever, whoever minimizes the turnovers. Uh, we got to take care of the football on our board. There's a lot of star power on the field tonight because when you look at the um, – the firepower that you all bring with Noah Johnson, you've got Felix Harper as well, Deshaun Waller. I mean, there are a lot of players, Solomon Muhammad on the defensive side of the ball. When you match your style power, style power against theirs, I mean, what's it going to be? Like, are you excited about that? It's a beam, but don't break. Um, you got to get out and, uh, and put forth the effort. So uh, we can't show no sign of weakness. And we just got to be strong in the trenches. And, and all those guys that are um, how competitive athletes got to make some plays today. This is an important 
conference game for you all. So uh, what was the attitude of the team going into this week, and how do you all see tonight's matchup? I thought it was a great week, great week of preparation and what we did this week with our team. And uh, they know the road start today. And uh, I emphasize that all week. And uh, they know to get to where we need to be at the end of the year, it starts today with Prairie View. All right, we appreciate your time. Thank you so much, Fred McNair, yeah, head coach of yeah. Ford State University. Yeah. Come back with us to the reservation. I want to hear more of the sounds of dynamite, if I'm honest. Yes, sir. <laughs> Stick and stay with Tiffany and Jay. They'll be right back after these messages. History is forged by trailblazers. That motivates me today to focus on my future. We are the SWAC. We are the new trailblazers. And this is my heritage. You know, and I always, we try to capture, but I always say, when your opposing team comes here and you're hearing that song, that means you're in trouble. A big thanks to Dr. Everson Martin and the sounds of dynamite here from Alcorn State University. So I guess it's only fitting then that they are our school of the week as it's time for Give Me Five. Five yeah. things you got to know about coming here to Alcorn State University. Number five is most important. It's always all corn. I had to learn that lesson. You don't say always, you say always. Always all corn. Make sense? Makes sense. All right. Number four, thing you got to know about Alcorn State University, they play football here. Donald Driver played football here. Before he went on to become Dancing with the Stars, before he went on to make it to the Green Bay Packers Ring of Honor, he was a two-sport athlete here on the reservation. Did you know that? I did not know that. And I got it. And number three, we just heard it. Sounds of dynamite. Yeah. Like my little J.J. Walker. Uh. Dynamite. <laughs> got to say it like that. And that's not spelled incorrectly. That's how they spell it. Sounds of dynamite. Number two, more important, Megger Evers. I think he's probably the most influential person that went here. Yeah. Civil yeah. rights pioneer. Also played football here at Alcorn State University. But number one, come on, man. Let's give it up to the legend. Steve Air 2. McNair, you can never sing enough of his praises. Arguably one of the greatest college quarterbacks of all time. And we got a chance to hear from the original Air McNair earlier today, yep. his brother Fred. And of course, yep. you have to take the time to say, on the bubble. On the bubble. Alex Haley went here, didn't graduate, but started his career here. Yep. And the fact that they call it the reservation. If you don't know, now you know this place is called The Reservation. And let's take a moment just really quickly to also remember, you know, Steve McNair as he was honored and his jersey was retired last weekend at the Tennessee Titans. They did a, a wonderful ceremony. Uh, the president here from Alcorn State University, Dr. Nave, went down there along with Fred and Steve's family as well. It was, it was a beautiful moment. It was, and you know, I competed against Steve McNair. We were definitely rivals very fiercely competitive, but it was all respect. And I would not have got the name recognition I got out of college if I didn't have a guy like Aaron McNair to challenge. And so with that being said, much love and respect to Steve Aaron McNair and the McNair family. Nothing but great things to say about them and we miss him, he's gone too soon. Rest in peace, Steve. Stick and stay with Tiffany and Jay. They'll be right back after these messages.
next week. This December 21st, the best in HBCU football will collide in Atlanta at the Celebration Bowl. MEAC versus SWAC. Champion versus champion. Only one team will rise above the rest and claim the coveted Celebration Bowl trophy. Come join the celebration at Mercedes-Benz Stadium this December. For more information, visit thecelebrationbowl.com. Welcome back to Black College Live here on the campus of Alcorn State University. Oh yeah, we're down here off the trace in the SIP. Coming down that trace wasn't an easy ride for you. Let me introduce everybody to Prairie View A&M head football coach Eric Dooley. Dooley, what's, what do you tell your team in preparation for playing here in this stadium against this brave team? Well, you know, we, we, we prepare to, uh, this is college day atmosphere right here. When you talk about SWAT, this is what you expect. This is what we look forward to. Uh, so they prepared and they understand what to expect. Uh, it's just going to be a hard fought football game. I said before you got here, I think that this location has emerged is possibly the toughest road trip in all of HBC. Not easy to get to. You got a long drive in here. You got to get over here. And then the fans and the crowd get into it. Am I wrong in thinking it's a pretty intimidating place? Well, you know what? That's the way it should be. That's the way uh, you go to any one campus. It should be intimidating. Uh, that's what you want to build as a, a program. And I thought, uh, I think McNair has done a fine job thus far uh, building that, uh, that intimidation coming into the stadium. But, of course, you know we accept the challenge. Well, I know you all do because you have all that fantastic firepower, particularly on the offensive side of the ball. Uh, I don't know if I've seen the more skilled threesome when you talk about your quarterback, Morton, your running back, Dewanye Tucker, wide receiver, Tristan Wallace. What do those guys bring to the table on a weekly basis? Just as you said, you know, uh, those are just a few weapons that we have, and uh, I was fortunate enough to uh, get those guys to come to Prairie View and University. And, uh, we feel real good about it, excited about what we bring on the offense side of the ball, but even more than that, uh, we feel great about what we have on the defense side of the ball as well. What's the key to victory for you guys going to be today? Disciplined football. Play for 60 minutes. Physical, fast, and have fun. Have fun, physical, fast. All righty, well, you heard it. Head coach of Prairie View A&M, Eric Dooley, second year, doing a great job with the Panthers. When we come back, we'll wrap up the show from Black College Live here at Alcorn State University. Stick and stay with Tiffany and Jay. They'll be right back after these messages. December 21st, the best in HBCU football will collide in Atlanta at the Celebration Bowl. MEAC versus SWAC. Champion versus champion. Only one team will rise above the rest and claim the coveted Celebration Bowl trophy. Come join the celebration at Mercedes-Benz Stadium this December. For more information, visit thecelebrationbowl.com. This week's star watch goes to North Carolina a and running back Jermaine Martin. Homeboy was just balling 299 yards to go along with four touchdowns as the Aggies take down Charleston Southern and the Aggies continue to roll there in Greensboro. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching with us on Facebook and on YouTube as well. Continue to subscribe to Black College Live. Jay Walker, Tiffany Green here with you. Final segment, you know, we always like to highlight the fraternities and sororities. So we kind of go on this circuit and we see a lot of different folks and these are the ice cold brothers of Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity Incorporated. We all one, 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 nine, we oh, all six. Six. I mean, oh, we eight. always tell them every week, hey, fraternities and sororities are welcome here on Black College Live. They got the memo, they showed up in full force today. Shout out to the Delta Kappa chapter along with uh, some alumni brothers as well. So. We got to talk, of course, football. I know you football. like to get back to football. That's why always. we're here. Prairie View A&M and Alcorn State set up that matchup. Prairie View A&M has an opportunity to come in here and get the victory. 
because they can score. The, the most prolific offense, I think, possibly in HBCU football this year. We talked about the talent at the skill position. The question is going to be, defensively, can they stop anybody? When I watch film of them, sometimes I don't think they can stop a high school team offense. They've got to get it together. They've got seven transfers on that defensive unit. They've got to come together and gel as a unit. So if they're going to win, they're going to have to make it a high-scoring affair. I think for Alcorn State, they're the most physical team we've seen in this conference yeah! the past couple of years. Yeah! They control the line of scrimmage. But their secondary is suspect. I think their defensive line and the linebackers are great. I do wonder about their ability to cover. And the one thing that's Achilles heel, when you've got an offense that can throw the ball with a quarterback and your defensive secondary is suspect, I'm putting you on upset alert. Now, we got a call again, so I don't know who's going to win it, but this is going to be a very, very interesting matchup. It's time for Chef. You know, I'm just curious to know from you, Jay, in terms of, I talked to Coach McNair. I said the star power in this game. There is star power on both sides of the ball, and who will win out? We can't say it, but Chef. Chef, yeah, I, know. Coach Chef. I know Chef. Coach Chef. Oh, oh, yeah. yeah. That's good. Hey, I like that. Coach Chef representing his fraternity. Oh, he always brings us the Ooh. absolutely. Mustard-based barbecue oh, yeah. sauce this, 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 this week. Is, this exactly. is real. Oh, this is real. Some <laughs> green mac and it's cheese. It's real good in my stomach. Oh, yeah. Real soon. Okay, okay. <laughs> so, Chef. Hey, can, I, can I do this with my – this is going to be my handkerchief oh, yeah, yeah, and yeah, I'm about yeah, to throw yeah. down. <laughs> Y'all don't know how hot it is outside right now. Chef, give us your prediction of who will win today. Tiff, I think I'm going to have to go with – Jay, I'm going to have to go with Alcorn. Oh. Wait a minute, wait a minute. We're going to have to do a redo. Did you see Jay's give me five? It's always oh. all core. Oh. <laughs> well, Jeff, he, he needs to get on a winning streak right now. He's one for two on the season. We'll judge him next week. Bye. All right. We appreciate you tuning in. Thank you so much. And good folks here on the reservation at Woo! Up. Give me five black college lives. Stay with us. Woo! Yeah. This is a gimme five show with Jay Walker and Tiffany. Hey. Yeah. Hey. You gon' have to give me five fingers on it. Right now. Wait until they see the strength and hear the win. It's black college live. I'ma need five on it. If they put overtime on it. Lights out.